I'm going to go ahead and do this brief demonstration on how we can set up a category campaign and get it connected to the live site. So with that said, I'll jump right into it. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to go want to go ahead and pull up our browser's development tools. So let's get that pulled up. The next thing that we're going to want to do within the dev tools is we're going to want to navigate to the network tab. Within the network tab, we're going to want to find the filter box here. We'll type in search.json. Once we have that pulled up, now all we need to do is we need to navigate to the category or the collection page that we would like to have a campaign created for. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and set one up for the all jewelry collection page. So after navigating to this page, we can see within the network tab that the search bring search API response comes through. And so what we're going to want to look at when we click on it is the payload tab. Within the payload tab, um, what we're going to want to look for is something like this background filter. So typically with search spring integrations, the way that we'll connect a category or a collection page is by utilizing a background filter parameter. Um, and in this case, we're using the collection handle field and the value that we're using is the all jewelry. So essentially all the products that have the field collection handle with a value of all jewelry will be shown on this page. And we're going to want this information to take to our campaign. So with that said, let's hop on over to the Search Spring Management Console. So once we're logged into the Search Spring Management Console, the first thing that we're going to want to do is navigate to the Merchandising tab. Within the Merchandising tab, we're going to want to go ahead and set up a new merchandising campaign. And once we are at the merchandising campaign, or to this menu in the merchandising campaign page, is we're going to want to click on the category merchandising campaign. And this is going to allow us to select this very specific data to start building out this collection for this page. And so if we come back over to the background filter, we can see that collection handle is the field and all jewelry is a value. So we already have collection handle set here. So now we just need to find all jewelry. If you have multiple background filters being used, you're going to want to add those as extra filters here and just select the field and the value in order to pull that data in um, and to also um, create that connection between the search spring management console and the site. So once we have that set up, let's start merchandising. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is go ahead and give it a campaign title. In this case, this is an all jewelry page, or this is a collection, or I'm sorry, this is a category campaign for the all jewelry collection page. So we'll name it the all jewelry page. And, the, and one thing that I like to do um, is just go ahead and make a slight change in the product results so that we know that uh, once this hits the live site, um, that it is connected properly. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and find a product. And let's just go ahead and pin this, this product here. And it'll just pull it to the front of the result set. Um, the next thing that we're going to want to do is just go ahead and save and publish these changes. And once those are saved and published, you'll see the status has changed to live. And typically from here, it'll take about five minutes for the browser's cache to clear in order to see this campaign actually hit the site. From here, all we, should, all we should need to do is go back over to the site. And once we refresh the page, and you know what? I'm just going to kind of force this cache. Let's see. There we go. And so now we can see that the first product is the first product in the campaign that we pinned. The next thing that we want to do is we just want to verify real quick, just to make sure that the campaign's triggered. In order to do that, we can go back to the API response. We can look at the merchandising or object, look at the triggered campaigns. And within there, we can see that the campaign title that we set up, all jewelry, is there. And we can also verify with the ID. The ID you'll see in the campaign at the end of the URL path when you're clicked into the campaign.